Hello, everybody. This is part two, although it is a standalone video of these mounts that I've made. Earlier today, I showed the process of forming the mounts. I've been threatening to put these on here for a very long time, and now I finally have. Um, took a lot of time today, so I got nice and artsy with them, made them as perfect as I could, and did the rivet pattern, which is indicative of other Convair made items that I have. Uh, reminder that there's no images of these anywhere. I, you're probably the first per people who are seeing these since, you know, somebody who installed them lastly at the, uh, the Convair plant back in 1954. I think 54 is when the last plane rolled off the assembly line. Um, I'll post a picture in the community page of, of the, the images that I have of these. They're looking from the other direction and they, they show a square pattern with some sort of triangulation. And I did that because I could see just in one picture I have, there's wires around it, but I could see just a hint of light on either side here, looking at various angles of it. I could just see the top and see that these were screwed in with the, <clears throat> the nuts on the bottom. And I can see that this is, uses a hex bolt up here. But that's all I had was pretty much that and wires bunched around it, like I said. And it's a really blurry picture, kind of, because the guy got his hand up here and he, you know, went like that. And he has to reach his hand up and it's hot in the airplane. And he does a really, really good job. And Rick, this is because of you, man. You made this possible. So thank you very much. And, Rick's a volunteer at the Castle Air Museum out there in Atwater, California, and the, the motivation for these came off of uh, RB36H5113730. It's good to see she can still contribute to some of her brothers and sisters in a sense. But if a uh, maintenance had to replace these shock mounts, he could just get up here with his wrench and he could work. I think the very serviceable and an indicative of what the real things would have looked like. This is a pretty big stepping stone here. This, with the exception, this main panel, I should say, with the exception of these two by fours holding it in position, it is now sitting on the, uh, the flight deck, or not the flight deck, but the flight engineer station. And once I get that, the floor built and the leg, these will be what holds up entirely they got they're probably not strong enough but this is all i've got uh god this thing figure each one of these gauges weighs a pound some of them two or three pounds so imagine the weight you've got you know divided by three i mean that's that's all the strength i got so we're either way we ain't flying nowhere they you know i think i think they're great i'm tickled to death with them as usual um interestingly the shock mounts only applicable in areas where there's gauges. There are no shock mounts on these guys because there are no gauges. Um, more places where you will find shock mounts, you'll find one down in this corner here because there's gonna be a, a bar that runs, or a flat bar that runs from here over to there where there's another, what would have been a cast magnesium bracket triangular where there's gonna be a mount there. So there'll be two there and then the last one mounts here and then splits off like a, well, it, it'll be an L bracket with a shock mount and it splits off like a Y and it's riveted to this one and it's quarter turn fastened over on this side. And that is it for the shock mounts on the base. So I've only got, you know, three more to go there. And of course these will have shock mounts. They're gonna be, I think about two inches. They go out like that shock mount and then whatever that thing is called that it's like a bolt and it and it's got a head on it a round head and it can swivel and it will mount somewhere here and same over there so i inaccurately described the shelf uh the day before yesterday i believe i said it was here it's actually down here 
So that shelf will come out. It's going to attach with, I made enough area to put the, the L bracket that's going to run from there. Or actually, it will run from there all the way over to the end. And then you're going to have the flat shelf. And then under here, you're going to have triangulation about every, what, I'd say six to eight inches. You're going to have a, a three or four part piece of triangulation. It's going to brace here and that's going to take you up to there. And then that shelf will then attach to this detachable fairing, which is rounded and it goes up and then ties into bulkhead 3.0, which makes that massive fairing that goes all the way around and it's rounded here. And that continues all the way around there. And then to there. And mind you, I still have another eight or six inches worth of panel to build there. Or it's not really a panel, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a storage bin. It's an ergonomically, aerodynamically formed storage bin that's got a door on it, which where the air hose for the uh, flight engineer's uh, D2 goes. So, man, if I had the time and the money, it would be really cool to run all these oxygen lines that oxygen line goes down and then into that doohickey and then runs all the way over to that D2 and then they run that way. Uh, I was at the hardware store and looking at terminals for these fuses thinking, because I got a lot, I got a surplus of B36 wire. It's, it's white. I've got you know, stuff like that laying around enough to really give some more depth if I take the time and I run some wire where I can, I can't do it off the gauges because I don't have the, uh, the AN couplings. I can't think of what those, are, what those are called. But that's out of the way and uh, that paves the way to build that shelf, which I've really, really been looking forward to doing. That shelf is gonna be cool. Now, unfortunately, you're never gonna see these again after I get the shelf and the back in there, but you see them now, and for anybody in the future who wants to see what it looks like back here, I think this paints an exceptionally accurate picture of what it actually looks like. So, I'll just pan around this thing. Might as well. I hate to waste a perfectly good B36. I'm really, really looking forward to getting that stuff finalized. Get it the shape I want and get this canopy. This needs to be a little bit straighter. But once again, this factor is based on how that is. It's going to be once, uh, mind you, I won't stop until I can take a picture and put it side by side and it's identical. But what I was saying is I can't wait to get some of this aluminum on here and get her pulled out on the, uh, get the flight deck finished, get some new casters on her, get her out in the sun. And that, uh, that blue sky reflecting off of that shiny aluminum, it's gonna be great. But until then, 